Hello, welcome to Samaritan Village Year of Prayer. My name is Mandy Linville, and I am a volunteer with Samaritan Village. I help on the external committee and also the advisory council. Today is week one of April's prayer focus on sex trafficking. This week, we will be praying for the victims. In the book, Land of the Free, Human Trafficking in America and Solutions to End by Nick Canuso, the author writes, whether it's workers in a nail salon, prostitutes walking in the streets, or even high-end call girls driving to the next state, many people wonder, why don't they just go to the police if their life is so bad and they're constantly in danger? Traffickers have traded in physical chains for mental bondages of control. One of the most important parts of a trafficker's job is to break the human spirit. Through abuse, manipulation, fear, dependency and control of emotions, the slaver is gifted in making the victim fully dependent and reliant upon them. Traffickers are able to successfully brainwash their victims into having radical devotion and dedication, willing to do whatever is required at any cost. From young children and teens to adults caught up in a lifestyle of abuse, praying for victims of sex trafficking is a full-time enterprise. As gut-wrenching as it can be, we must remain positive and filled with hope that Jesus Christ has the power to set the captives free. Let's pray. Father, blessed be your holy name. Be merciful to those precious ones. Hear them when they cry out to you. Thank you for performing miracles for them and sending your angels to protect them. Supernaturally, speak into their hearts and their minds so they will put their trust in only you as their Lord and Savior and not be afraid. Write their names in the book of your life. Reveal to them that man cannot touch them while they're under your protection. We claim the day that they will sing and give praise to your mercy that reaches the heavens and your truth into the clouds. We pray, Lord, that they will know the hope of God's calling and greatness of your glory. Lord, we also pray that you will provide protection and strength and comfort and peace to them. Lord, we pray that they will hear their cries. You will hear their cries. You will see their tears, gather their sorrows, and reveal yourself to them. Lord, we pray that the divine of you will protect them and heal them from their sickness, disease, and their destruction. Lord, we also pray supernaturally that you will release them from any spiritual bondage and physical addiction that they might have. Lord, we pray for the children that you will miraculously preserve their souls and be quick to salvation to their circumstances. Thank you, Lord, so much for the insurance that you have heard these prayers offered in your name. Amen. Thank you.